So let's take a deep dive into what the future of the Inner Source Commons Foundation looks like and what that foundation thingy is all about. The goal of the foundation, of course, is to grow the community as Denise already detailed. It's to spread InnoSource knowledge and one goal that is near and dear to me is to show the value of open source collaboration to corporations. Why so? Because what I want to achieve is that people working during their day job understand and are able to communicate why it's important to contribute anything they change within an open source project back to their upstream and to be able to do so this in a very seamless manner. And InnoSource is very well suited for that because you are tr already training um, the ways of working that you will need if you want to make open source contributions. So how do you get started with InnoSource? Or how do you get in touch with your foundation? Well, first and foremost, welcome. Um, you get in touch with us during the summit. We do this in a virtual way so that many people can participate. Um, and I would like to welcome every one of you who wants to participate today in our talks, in our sessions, in our breakout sessions. I would like to um, invite you to be very active in those breakout sessions because they are a very nice way in order to work on the topics that are, very, that are most interesting to you. Apart from that, we also offer community calls on a monthly basis. There is one talk. Typically, they, they open doors several minutes before the talk starts, so you have time for networking there. And typically, there is a lot of time afterwards for discussion and for questions which run under Chatham House Rules. So you can ask any questions related to the topic, and only the answers will be shared online, but not your name which sometimes is important to make people more comfortable talking about in-house issues. We also have a network of practitioners. Simply join our Slack group. There are multiple channels there on how to get involved. One channel that I would like to recommend to every one of you is the Virtual Coffee Buddies channel. There, on a regular basis, people are matched together for one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions. You can schedule the session on your own. You can use your own equipment, whatever service suits you most. And they are very nice to understand just how global this movement is and where everyone in the community stands. And they are a very nice way in order to learn where everyone else is standing and to get some of your questions resolved. And of course, I would like to invite you to participate in our working groups. Likely you have used our material already but all of this material is backed by active communities, helping with translations, helping fixing typos, helping make some of the um, sentences more clear and better to understand. It's very welcome help. Now we have three of these working groups. One is the learning path, one is about InnoSource patterns, and one is for marketing. And everyone is welcome to participate there. You can go to the learning path and translate sections to your favorite language. You can go to patterns and help with cleaning up the ways they are phrased. Even just adding yourself as a user of the pattern is already very extremely val valuable contributions. And of course, you can help us with marketing and outreach. So, how does that work? How do you become part of that foundation? Well, essentially, to some extent, you already are because you are using our publications, you are using our channels to network, even if it's just a summit. Typically, from here, some people decide to participate more regularly in our working groups. Maybe they find that they need the learning path in their native language. Maybe they discover a pattern in their inner source practice that isn't yet covered and submit mid that to the patterns working group. Those people who regularly participate typically sooner or later find an invitation in their inbox in order to become a member of the inner source commons foundation. Today we have 19 members. Out of these members we elected nine directors who are steering the foundation. So which 
um, offers does the foundation have? Essentially, it serves our um, working groups. So it is there as a legal umbrella where we can um, book our infrastructure under the name of the foundation instead of under the name of individuals. And it helps each of the working groups with outreach. Outreach to new users, outreach to new practitioners. And with that, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of our sponsors because they help us provide services to our downstream um, working groups. It's Baturkia, it's GitHub, it's IBM, it's Microsoft, it's Comcast, it's Europes, it's GitLab, Indeed, Santander and SAP. Thank you very much. And with that, I would like to hand over to our first presentation at the Innosys Commons Summit. Thank you.